Doctor, you mentioned x-rays. Uh-huh. How, you know, a lot of people, especially here at the Health Freedom Expo, will say that, well, there's radiation and x-rays. How necessary are they in, in your line of work, and, and are there alternatives to there's maybe something that's more safe? Um, there's thermograms. You asked a lot of questions. Let's take it from the top. <laughs> what was the first one? How necessary are they? And, How necessary. And, and okay. Sometimes you'll get them a couple times a year, maybe once a year. I mean, okay. it depends on who you see. Correct. A traditional <laughs> dentist would say once every six months, and that's what I was raised to believe. Mm -hmm. I personally do them as needed. Um, if I'm monitoring tooth decay, you know, I'll take them more frequently. Um, as a general rule, my patients don't get them but once a year, and that's if they need them. And by that, I mean if we are monitoring something. Um, a new patient coming in, I would say um, I need x-rays. I, I can't assess you're bringing your car into the, the machine shop and you're not letting them open the hood. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, we really need a lot of x-rays in the beginning. Um, I have utilized thermograms as a tool. Um, CAT scans are great. Um, radiation doesn't scare me. It's like cancer doesn't scare me. There's ways of... To, to change those thought process. Um, I think we've been led to believe those things, cancer kills, but then you've got a list of cancer survivors over mm -hmm. here. You know, so it doesn't kill everybody. So, right. you know what I mean? Uh, just like the thought process with radiation. Well, we're getting more from that uh, meltdown in Japan than we are from any dental office. I don't care if you were in there all day long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so... Uh, once again, being empowered with knowledge, that's the key, and that's why we're all here at the Health Freedom Expo. Radiation's easy to fix. It's iodine. Hmm. It's so easy. Radiation goes out when the iodine comes in. So if you don't have iodine, you probably want to get some. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what I just recommend for my patients. And I know that there's some homeopathics out there, too. Um, in my office, which I don't, I can't speak for everybody else. I have the lowest uh, radiation that was available, you know, um, okay. and it's all digital, so then we don't have to worry too much about that. Mm -hmm. um, and I know Dr. Oz had come out oh, thyroid cancer, and uh, you know, not wearing the, you know, the the thyroid collar for dental X-rays. I'm like, if that's the only thing you were looking at, we're in the Midwest here. We don't get iodine in our diet. Mm -hmm. Why don't we look there first? You know, because what is the thyroid dependent on? Iodine. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you just take it, use, use your, your intellect and decipher back, cause, 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 go, you know, start here, start, you know, you got to keep going back, going back, going back. Mm -hmm. So we're in the Midwest, you are iodine deficient and vitamin D deficient. That's a given. So you just supplement with those on a daily basis, and you'll be ahead of the game. Breast cancer, too, is an iodine deficiency from a lot of the research mm -hmm. that I read, which is very prominent here in DuPage County, even. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think it's all about nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. So I don't care what they throw at us or what they do. I mean, they, 1950, they took the bromine out of the bread, they started, or iodine out of the bread, and they started putting bromine in. Bromine's another direct competitor for the thyroid. And for every cell has a, a receptor for iodine. Um, so you drink chlorinated water, it's going right to that receptor. Because same mm. lock and key thing. Chlorine fluoride fits in there too, interestingly enough, mm -hmm. as does mercury and arsenic and uh, I believe cadmium and a few other metals. Mm -hmm. So, but the beautiful thing about the human body and why I keep going back to nutrition, if you upload the iodine, your body starts to let go of all of the chlorine, the fluoride, the bromine, the uh, mercury. So you just have to, but if you're not supplying the body with the nutrition, it's not going to be able to get rid of those sure. things.